What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We've got a new Town Hall 9 base design. A lot of y'all have been tweeting at me lately and commenting, Hey, you haven't made a new base in a while. Let's go ahead and make a new base. Alright, so that's what we did here, guys. I've got a new Town Hall 9 um, base design. It has the double air sweeper in it. And, uh, yeah, it's working pretty well. It's been attacked a lot. It hasn't been two-starred yet. Now, as you guys knew uh, or know from the last video, I am kind of pushing. Um, I've been town hall sniping a lot. I think, what am I at right now? Um, I'm at 21.31, so I'm pushing up, guys. Um, Going to be in Crystal 2 pretty soon. Again, all of this is just with Barch, so really you can barge all the way up to Masters. It's possible. You can even barge higher than that. Um, when it comes to town hall sniping and just finding some bases with the buildings out and around them So here's the base right here guys. Uh, it's been working pretty well. Let's go ahead and jump into the editor And we'll zoom in on things so you can see that the wizard towers do a good job of uh, Covering the majority of the loot so we've got these wizard towers toward the outside the archer We've got wizard towers right next to archer towers uh, which is good because the defenses can protect each other. So if something's attacking the Archer Tower, the Wizard Tower can help. If something is attacking the Wizard Tower, the Archer Tower can help. So that's awesome. Um, next, we have our uh, Expos right here in the middle. They're covering a good amount of the loot, and it's going to take a little bit for any kind of uh, defense to get into them. So they're going to be firing constantly for a really, really long time. Um, so if people attack from the top, they're going to have a little bit of trouble. We've got those Teslas up there as well, and the cannons on the outside. So we've got a cannon right there, and don't want to move that, and we've got a cannon right there as well. So if somebody drops off golems or giants or anything like that, they're going to go and walk around the wall and focus on that cannon, uh, which is good for us because uh, the wizard towers can do some splash damage to them before they break into the wall. So... In the middle, we've got this little trap section, which has been working pretty well, honestly, for the troops that have got in there. Only one attack so far has gotten into that point, and uh, it's passed now. Uh, so I can't show you all that replay, but I do have another replay to show you all. Uh, we've got the wizard towers down here as well, protecting that gold and elixir. As you can see, we've got um, elixir, gold, gold elixir, and then elixir, gold, gold elixir. So we've got everything spread out pretty well around the base. So if anyone wants to get anything, they're going to have to attack pretty well. Uh, I just said pretty well like four times. Um, I just actually moved a couple things from this replay that I'm going to show you guys, but the base is holding up pretty well. I just said pretty well again. Molt, what are you doing? <laughs> but here's the base if you guys want to screenshot it. I'll go ahead and hold it there for just a second. If you guys do use it, go ahead and let me know as well. Why don't we go ahead and do this? We'll go ahead and do eraser mode for you guys so that y'all can get uh, the walls and the traps. I love eraser mode. I love the fact that you can do this and I don't know I got rid of a wall crap uh, I love the fact that they added this in obviously it was a long time ago but it's it's absolutely amazing just being able to come in here and erase like this and it makes for a cool screenshot so um, there's all that and we'll get rid of this and this and we'll zoom out for you guys and I got to throw this wall in where's this wall there it is throw that wall in right there there's the base for you if you want to take a screenshot of uh, what the base looks like so we've got one, two, three, four. We've got like five squares, a couple of rectangles, etc., all the way around it. But go ahead and cancel that. Okay, and then I'm going to jump in and show you guys a replay. Uh, we can actually just go through it. So uh, defense, a bunch of them are just people picking off the town hall. But look, nobody since I made this has to start it. It's been people going after it. Well, I guess 21 hours. Uh, I don't know if that was it What's after that 22 hours. That 21-hour one might have been my old base. I'm not too sure. But... Let's go ahead and watch uh, this replay right here, and uh, you guys can see what's up. So this guy actually attacks with a lot of giants, which, uh, which is pretty bad. 24 giants, level 6. Uh, anytime you roll with a mass amount of giants like that, if you attack patiently, then you're going to do pretty well. Um, why am I saying pretty well so much? Molt, you've said it like 30 times. <laughs> What is going on? I guess I'm too tired. So this is what I was talking about. You can see the Giants coming in right here. Um, they did distract from that wall breaker, but that wall breaker, he's going to have to drop three of them to get in there. The uh, Everything is shooting these Giants, getting them down to almost half health right there. And then now he's sending in a whole bunch of Barbarians. My King is over there. He's going to get taken out super quick. He only uh, dropped in like 12 of his Giants at first, and now he's sending in the rest of them. So they're all coming in. 
uh, as you can see, where was it? Uh, oh wait, no, I did have my, I did move my elixir around at this point. Uh, no, I didn't. So this elixir storage that they're attacking right now is a gold storage now, and it's right there. So I moved that since then. Uh, you can see that the both of the air sweepers are working, but they're just kind of annoying the dragons. That's all that they're really doing. They aren't doing too much. They aren't really resetting them or anything like that. Um, the giants are heading over here. He finally drops a heal spell on them. Level 6 giants are beast, guys. They have got a lot of health. So you can see we've still got both of these storages, both of those two gold storages. They haven't made it into this elixir storage yet, but now they are. And that dragon, watch this. Look at this. All right, so we're going to shoot it and then shoot it again. <laughs> right back towards the elixir and shoot it again. <laughs> and then shoot it again so that dragon was only able to get like a little bit of that elixir right now and all he's got is giants left so I'm not really too worried about that and they go away right there with that giant bomb so we had 132,000 elixir he got 222 uh, because wait we have 132 left he got 222 he barely even touched the gold so I'm okay with that 38 percent is not bad and he didn't steal that much loot I mean he stole a lot of elixir but that's because I have a lot so, uh, I'm not too upset about it. I think that it's going to be a good base, especially as I continue upgrading it, uh, etc. Can I upgrade this? Oh, I can't. We're so close. We definitely need to upgrade that in the next video. We've got 5 million elixir, guys. So, that means we are very, very close to being able to research our er, archers at 6. So, there's the base, guys. Again, I hope that you all enjoyed. If you use it, tweet it at me. Let me know how it works. Uh, if you're a Max Town Hall 9, it's going to work really, really well for you, for sure. Uh, because getting attacked by those troops at, I don't even know what I'm saying now but it's gonna work well I like it I think this one's gonna stick with me for a little while and uh, yeah that's gonna be it guys thanks so much for watching really really do appreciate it as always make sure you keep calm and you clash on see you guys in the next episode peace